Hello, this is Carlos and today I'm going to be talking about the difference of working with split, with watts or with joules per stroke energy. When we get into the app and we're going to start rowing, we come to the cell here. It gives us three choices, earth split, power of energy, earth split, or we can also put a boat. So we want to put a single on 90 kilos. We say, okay, now here we're getting a split that is if I row in a single and I weigh 90 kilos, it's adjusted. The second thing I can do is I can work on power and it will give me watts. And the third thing I can do is I can work on energy and it will give me joules. And that will be the area inside of the curve will be the joules. So to don't get confusing with the three concepts of watts of power, the split, that is the speed, or the joules per stroke, that is the energy that was the joules, I'm going to start uh, explaining about the joules. So the, every time we take a stroke, we produce a curve. That curve, that is one stroke, has an area. That area is the amount of work of that stroke energy that is at joules per stroke, so it will give us joule. This is that stroke. It has nothing to do with time, stroke rate. It is just that number of that single stroke. So when we have clear that one single stroke has an amount of work and a number of joules. Now we come up, what's power of split? So power, really simple, is rate of doing work. So there is time on here. It's the amount of energy consumed per unit of time. So now all these curves we're going to put in a minute are going to have a relationship with watts and the split. When we work with the split or power, it is all those power curves in a minute. So if the frequency of how many power curves we do in a minute or the length of the power curve or the peak force of the power curves, the area changes, that split is going to change. To give you an example, we can work at two minutes split, but we can go at 20 strokes a minute with a lot of power or we can go on a long stroke, and or we can go two minute split, rowing at 30 strokes a minute with a very weak power curve and very short power curve. But we need to put more strokes. So you can keep the same speed, changing the stroke rate. So the stroke length, the force you apply, the joules, and the frequency is going to change the watts and the split. So this is a very good way to teach your athletes to understand how that works. So if I tell to my rowers, okay, today we're going to do 2,000 meters, maximum effort, stroke rate 26. So everyone needs to go at 26. So what is going to make them, because they cannot put more strokes than 26 in a minute. So what is going to make a boat go faster than the other one? If they all have the same technique. Simple, that they have more joules per stroke in each of these curves of 26 in each minute. So the rower that with the same technique rows longer every stroke with more force will have a higher energy that stroke. So that rower will have bigger number of work in each of the strokes of the 26 in a minute. So that boat will get ahead. So when you tell your rowers, row longer, work harder, you're going to go faster. It is true. This is Ben Carlos. Thank you for watching.